Hello guys, what is going on and welcome to another, well actually my first vlog, my first proper vlog and uh, before I start this video I just want to thank you guys a lot for helping me reach 316 subscribers that is pretty cool, I never thought I'd ever reach over 100 but I'm at 316, that's cool I'm um, trying to get 53 fishing and 48 agility to complete recipe for disaster and I just have to get a few quest points and then let me just show you which part I'm on in recipe for, for disaster. I'm currently on that. Uh, I've done four of them, and I'm on. I've done five actually. I'm on the monkey ambassador, and uh, I must have 48 agility to do that, and 53 fishing to do the um, Sir Amic Pars. So I shall be getting at least dragon gloves by tonight. If not, then uh, t tomorrow I will be getting Barrow's gloves, or maybe even Monday. So uh, t today Jagex released a new update behind the scenes thingy and um, here let me, let me just open it up you guys see. Okay so basically this is what it says I'm just going to read it out. You don't really have to watch this video more li more listen you have to really do. So uh, play RuneScape and listen at the same time it doesn't really matter. Uh, let me just drop a few of these. Okay, so uh, anything I'm saying here, I really I, I do not know about it. I just heard about it now. So uh, if I say anything wrong, please do not hate. Just kindly leave in the comments what I said wrong and correct me. So the herbal habitat and the origin of its mysterious Jidinkos has long puzzled druids. Later this month, one of the druids reveals the truth. As you enter a newly discovered living cave featuring a mixture of high high level skilling and combat similar to the living rock caverns, I th think that's going to be pre pretty much like a herb law kind of uh, kind of like a herb law guild, you know, uh, where it's going to have a lot of patches and uh, you can grow your plants or whatever you want there instead of like having to move around. That's what I think. It turns out that Papa Mambo's I do not know who the fuck that is wondrous enchanted jade vine isn't as harmless as previously thought and some of its ever moving roots are causing corruption among the brood of the Jadinko queen again i do not know who that is you are called upon to call to call 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 the mutated strain corrupted Jadinko babies guards and males can be freely killed or given as a slayer target level 80 86 and 91 protect your guard from their attacks however you will find that the environment retaliates with nearby roots giving you a light whipping. Now, this is the most important line that uh, calls whips to rise significantly over the past few uh, hours. Those who work in cooperation with woodcutters or chop down the roots themselves will find their will find their mission more relaxed, by, but by no means safe. So. Where's the other line that uh, said it? Okay, for the persistent slayers, there is a chance of coming across the mysterious whip vine, which may sound incongruous, but does wonders. When attached to an abyssal whip requiring 80 slayer and 85 attack to wield, it raises the whip stats, has the chance of delivering a small amount of poison damage to your targets, and gives the old whip a brand new special attack. Find that elusive vine and you'll be able to vine tune your abyssal vine whip to perfection. Now, um, Jagnets were being pretty mean there as they did not tell us what the special attack will be, what their stats will be and stuff like that. Uh, whips have risen in price significantly. I myself had bought about 2-3 whips when they were about 800k. I just had them in the bank for a PK and uh, hopefully they'll rise to about 6 mil, however, when they do rise to about 6 mil, I think that more people will be purchasing SS's, BGS's and stuff like that as uh, they may have higher stats. On the other hand, if the stats are more closer to the BGS or the SS or something like that, or maybe even the Rapier, then people will uh, maybe stop trying to do dungeoneering and uh, trying to afford a, uh, try, try to get the attack level required to the BGS and uh, purchase a whip instead. So that might be pretty cool. How? Also, on the other hand, however, if the whip uh, elaborates to have a strength attack, like you know, a slash, then that would just be awesome. That would be so cool. More pures will be purchasing whips, and whips will skyrocket in prices. Because uh, no pure uses a whip in strength style, so not no pure really trains with a whip, 
And uh, if they do include a slash style in the whip, those whips are going back up to 3 mil plus. And uh, I myself will be making a pretty juicy profit. So uh, yeah, that should be pretty cool. And, uh, and just another quick thank you to uh, I Rub Me Dong. He's, uh, he's the one who made me my background as uh, I erased my hard drive. As you can see, I'm not lagging one bit. And uh, he decided to make me a background for free. So if you want to go and check out his channel, the link is in the description. He has 2.7k subscribers, so I doubt it will help much. However, you just go check out his channel if you want. Also, uh, I do not have an intro currently, so I'm looking for someone to make me an intro. I'm willing to pay up from... 5 mil to 10 mil or maybe less it depends how good the intro is so uh, if you want to make me an intro just leave in the comments and uh, yeah guys peace